my first failure i faced in my ninth standard uh, that time i wrote something on notebook and uh, i decided to change but uh, you know in the first year of first semester itself i failed in all subjects but uh, you know in second year when i got against another failure okay so that time i was completely broken and i have mentioned it in my book as well that i attempted a suicide but uh, that day i heard different thing from my father he said you go back to pune and complete your engineering success is not a matter of being the best and winning the race it is a matter of finishing the race and handling the worst failures are not meant to take you down but it is to make you realize that what your inner strength really is when it is a, a down time or when you cannot sell then prepare for tomorrow uh, just learning the technical things is not enough you have to uh, learn the discipline of your life you have to uh, learn the productivity of your life right you have to accept some good habits in your life always remember that the way you do anything is the way you do everything even if it is a small thing that you decide to complete it if you want to write a book and if you have a solid purpose then you should definitely write a book hello viewers hello let's welcome mr amol ujagare today he is a very special guest for this afternoon and we will be talking to him about his journey about his book you can see his book on the screen the investment in failures so obviously we will be talking about that we will know more about him we will know more about his journey and his struggles and most importantly his failures uh, because his book specially talks about failures so uh, let me introduce let me welcome first uh, amol ji uh, thank you for taking time out and talking to us connecting with us so thanks so i welcome you and uh, you. let me give brief introduction introduction about mr amol ujagari he uh, he is from pune he has a it background he has done his information technology graduation that is b computers uh, b in information technology from one of the most reputed colleges from pune that is pict college and right from the beginning of his career till now he is in the field of soft software coding and software testing and now he calls himself a software testing coach where he he coach uh, different software professionals on this particular aspects so uh, in, instead of wasting more time on this uh, let us directly start our discussion with amol ji so that we know right from him what he is into so welcome amol ji once again thank you sir thank you very much thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you thank yes. you uh there are very very few books in the market uh, which talk about failures there are plenty of books they talk talk about success but very few books on on the subject failure and your book is on failure so right please tell me about your book why did you think of writing this particular book and why this chapter why why this topic failure is so important for you and uh, you decided to write on it please yeah so uh, first of all let me tell you that uh, uh, the experiences that i've got since my childhood till now based on that uh, there were various uh, uh, points wherein i thought that nothing beyond it but somehow uh, some uh, you can say some inspiration or some uh, higher power you can say who helped me and uh, i came out of it so step by step means my first failure i faced in my ninth standard when you know uh, my grades or my marks were too much low and uh, i went to uh, you know uh, the down division okay we used to call it c division a division very very intelligent people b division medium and c division uh, very poor intelligent student so that was the first failure i failed in my life and uh, uh, that time i wrote something uh, on notebook and uh, i decided to change okay so i decided to uh, prepare a plan and uh, then i made a change so that 
discipline helped me to get the good marks in my 12th and subsequently i got a good college in psct but in engineering uh, because the education pattern was little different so and it was not like our schooling system because uh, you know in just 6 months you have to prepare and not uh, really you get the 6 months to prepare but uh, you know uh, you get very less time to prepare and uh, i tried to prepare myself but uh, you know in the first year of first semester itself i failed in all subjects oh. okay all subjects right so very naturally people used to get one or two backlogs so failure in all subjects then after that uh, that year was again i got failed means that i i got aired on so one year back uh, back but uh, again somehow i worked on it and i got in the second year but in second year also somehow i got a failure so in the second year also i got the failure but uh, and my father used to also uh, always say that if you cannot do this then uh, find something else in your life that you can do uh, but somehow i was thinking that uh, you know i have started it so let's do it but uh, you know in second year when i got against another failure okay so that time i was completely broken and i have mentioned it in my book as well that i attempted a suicide okay and uh, uh, you know when i recovered from it when my friends uh, who helped me when i recovered from it and when i came back to home then uh, i was not sure that what my father's next step would be so he might say that uh, you know uh, you find out because he used to always say that uh, don't continue this but uh, that day i heard different thing from my father he said you go back to pune and complete your engineering uh, so uh, it was surprising for me uh, because he told me something very important and uh, he said that you know i am not expecting you to bring first class or distinction but whatever you have started you finish it right because success is not a matter of being the best and winning the race it is a matter of finishing the race and handling the worst okay so i took that advice from my father and then i came back to pune again and uh, i subsequently completed the engineering and uh, then again uh, got some struggle in job and uh, uh then i started business and business also i got a lot of struggle so everything i actually uh, step by step documented here as it is because in every step there was some learning and uh, yeah so this was uh, you can say that it is uh, a essence of my book so my book is actually based on this so why you are saying investment in failures why why in you are using this word investment investment okay very nice question see the thing is that uh, you uh, uh, i just remember very nice uh, thing when i was uh, traveling from pune to uh, ahmedabad so this book was there with me and uh, uh, you know in the security check when they were actually uh, seeing uh, the things from your uh, bag so this book came out and uh, uh, suddenly what security guard said uh, what is this so investment suddenly some other person said investment means uh, लाइक like, uh, ये पैसे के बारे में होगा ये पैसा डालो और ये करो सो जनरली वेन समबडीज एंड इवन सम अदर पीपल हु आर इन स्टॉक मार्केट पीपल सो दे ट्राई टू रिकॉग्नाइज मी एज अरे यू यू हैव एनी रिलेशन विद विद स्टॉक मार्केट और समथिंग बिकॉज इन्वेस्टमेंट आई सेड नो आई देन जनरली आस्क दैम दैट वाई डू यू डू एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके सो इफ यू इन्वेस्ट इन मनी इट ग्रोथ okay because maybe there could be some risk but eventually it grows right so here the thing is that i'm not saying that the you should grow the failures but when you invest in your failures so uh, the subsequent learnings and your achievements will eventually grow so that's so why i've used the investment word. is you you are telling them to work on the foundation yes work on the foundation means if you are coming across the failures so failures are not meant to take you down but it is to make you realize that what your inner strength really is so that's why the word investment i've used okay then your subtitle also says the downtime is actually a learning time learning time right because so, 
by the time you are down and you are resting learn and get ready for a new battle okay uh, because you see in the picture also this image also has a meaning so this in this image uh, the background image it uh, uh, you, you can see there is uh, uh, you know sunset is being happen and in sunset when there is dark you cannot uh, you know sail on the ship okay so it is actually a downtime for the sailor so when it is uh, a downtime or when you cannot sell then prepare for tomorrow okay so that's what this picture is also saying right so your downtime is for your preparation right so that's what it is correct correct abhi thodi der pehle aapne baat ki ki aapne suicide attempt kiya उस पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंस के बारे में थोड़ा बताना चाहेंगे हमको क्या था वो और क्या लर्निंग मिली उससे जी बिल्कुल सी कैसा हो रहा था कि व्हेन आई वाज फेलिंग एंड यू नो सब व्हेन एवर आई आई यूज टू गेट फेल सो सब्सिक्वेंटली मींस मतलब ये कहा एकदम एकदम से नहीं आया था वो मतलब बार बार आता था एक्चुअली क्या है कि uh, मेरे घर में थोड़ा सा स्ट्रिक्ट एनवायरनमेंट है मतलब जनरली मदर जो होती है वो एकदम लविंग होती है और पापा थोड़े से स्ट्रिक्ट होते हैं सो so, uh, मैं थोड़ा सा जरा डरता था तो so, अगर ये बार बार फैली और अगर मैं घर पे बताऊंगा तो क्या होगा जनरली यही uh, समस्या है हर एक के बाद uh, यहाँ पे होती है सो आई वॉज ऑल्सो थिंकिंग अबाउट इट एंड वेन माई फर्स्ट फेल्यूर कैम सम हाउ इट दैट थॉट वॉज देयर वेन सेकेंड फेल्यूर कैम दैट थॉट वॉज देयर बट when the third failure came so i literally tell you the uh, it was actually planned in my subconscious mind just one or two days before that uh, you know first you go to the medical uh, get something that can end your life but somehow medical people will not give you without prescription correct so uh, that plan was uh, uh, it didn't work so i went to a shop Where in actually cockroach, uh, cockroach spray or something like that, it was there. So I brought that and uh, I just uh, drank it. And uh, uh, you know, after some time, um, I started vomiting, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I uh, just slept. And uh, I was crying and uh, uh, too much emotional. I was just uh, uh, somehow my whole life was coming in front of my eyes. and suddenly uh, there was a call by my friend when some uh, when uh, my result was there my every everyone uh, uh, got their own result they were then in hostel then room and uh, suddenly they realized that where is a hole okay so when uh, one of my friend he called and he knew that he got a failure so he must be there with us otherwise uh, he more might got uh, some breakdown or so he called me his name was bushan so he called me and said that uh, amol where are you i said i am at my home so are, are you alone or somebody is there with you so i said nobody is there so he said uh, don't stay alone come here so he was insisting me and i was uh, actually not willing to tell what i did but uh, he because he was insisting and uh, then i said that i have done something like this and mm. then suddenly uh, you know uh, the news spread within the friends and the they came to my house and uh, they picked me up and took me to the doctor and then you know, my uh, parents were informed and uh, that night uh, they came and uh, uh, even in my book also i have mentioned this so during that time when uh, uh, they were trying to actually pull out uh, the poison from me so actually they put uh, one uh, uh, straw from through my uh, nose and oh. uh, Uh, here and uh, they actually put some potassium or something like that from that and from the same uh, pipe they were actually taking out that okay and uh, it was uh, very much painful but uh, after some times i got unconscious and uh, i started seeing uh, getting some hallucinations okay so means something that mm -hmm. i never wanted to see uh, i i used i started looking into it i am and uh, you know after two to three days uh, when i got my senses back then i saw my mother i saw my father and uh, uh, you know uh, they were actually uh, uh, there was miss uh, first of all i thought that um, somehow i got uh, got uh, some mental uh, uh, 
uh, mental issues and I'm there in some mental hospitals. So I asked my mother that, uh, you know, bring take me to some other hospitals. Then she said that, no, there is no uh, mental problem with you. Just try to remember what you did. And then actually I remembered that, uh, you know, I did that and because of that, I'm here. And uh, after that, I slowly recovered. And uh, when I brought back to the home and uh, then uh, I just said previously that I didn't know that after this failure, whether my father will let me continue the engineering or not. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, he said that uh, you go back to Pune and complete finish what you have started with. Okay. Because earlier I used to tell you that leave this thing, leave this thing, but I don't want you to lose. I don't want you to leave something that you really wanted to live with. So go back to Pune and complete your engineering. So that's how it was. So what's the learning from this whole incident? So the learning from this whole incident was actually, you know, I thought uh, my life is precious actually. Uh, <clears throat> the thing is that if he has decided, the higher power, if he has decided to uh, you know, brought some important work from you. You have a responsibility when he has sent and when he has created you, then he has not created a wasted thing. So he has created a precious thing which has some purpose uh, to do something great in the future. So, you know, you have to believe him because, you know, unless and until he thinks, uh, you know, nobody can end its own life. So, you know, I... Uh, after that, actually, I started uh, uh, reading the books uh, about success and, uh, you know, so that took how me to, handle uh, failure. to understand how to handle failures. And uh, after that, actually, I entered uh, <coughs> into the, uh, you know, uh, the proper path and um, started my own journey properly. Okay. So tell me what exactly you do professionally. What are your current activities in which field you majorly work? Okay. Uh, so see, the thing is that uh, after I uh, did graduation for seven years, I work in an IT company. And uh, while working there, uh, side by side, I used to take home classes, home tuitions for uh, uh, those who are already working into IT or, and specifically doing software testing. So I used to teach them automation. <laughs> actually, this is also an interesting thing. I never wanted to become a coach. I actually wanted to prepare myself to crack an interview. Oh. Okay. Due to the busy schedule, uh, due to the work, um, only Sunday was the holiday and the, uh, that was also very hectic. So I couldn't prepare myself. So what I thought is, uh, let's, uh, you know, bring some people and uh, let's tell them that I will teach you this. And uh, when somebody will be there in front of me, then it will be my compulsion to prepare for it. So in that uh, context, I started preparing myself. I prepared myself and uh, I got a nice feedback from students. So uh, they said that you are teaching very well. You are, uh, you know, relating to us and uh, uh, your, uh, your method of teaching is very good. So I continued that side by side. It was a nice source of income as well. And slowly, eventually, when uh, I started doing good, I left my job and I started continuing uh, the classes. After when the pandemic came, everything went online. Uh, initially, I was not comfortable with the online classes, but eventually I learned it. And, uh, you know, uh, actually the online sessions gave me more growth. Okay, because I could reach to more people uh, through online session. And uh, this is how uh, I'm conducting now. Earlier, I used to teach uh, only Selenium, uh, the automation testing tool. Now I'm uh, teaching eventually uh, Cucumber as well, Java plus Selenium with Cucumber. Now I have started teaching uh, API testing as well, uh, various tools like SOAP UI tool, Postman, REST Assure Library, Karate Framework, JMeter is for performance testing. And a recently new tool is there, Playwright, that also I've started teaching. Right. And uh, recently, uh, uh, based on this book, uh, I thought that uh, let's start uh, teaching some productivity means these kinds of session I used to take for my students as well, like goal setting, uh, productivity mastery. Recently, I'm happy to tell you that uh, we have launched a course 
on how to quit smoking means uh, okay. uh, uh, like, totally uh, different different subject than what you have been active into right see uh, my students uh, are anyways uh, they are uh, uh, fighting for their uh, own career so in order to prepare your career you have to be productive right uh, just learning the technical things is not enough you have to uh, learn the discipline of your life you have to uh, learn the productivity of your life right you have to accept some good habits in your life and also if any bad habits are there that you should uh, you know uh, uh, throw it away from your life right so two uh, courses we planned right now so one course is uh, already available it's on udemy also it is uh, on my own platform also so uh, that course is live and another course we are uh, it's script is ready the productivity mastery and that also uh, we are planning to finish before the well so that will be also live so uh, you know my uh, actual target audience will be my students only but uh, you know uh, it can be learned uh, by anyone so right. so that's what uh, great great so anyone who is interested in getting into software testing and learning these kind of all advanced tools and if you want to directly get in touch with the master of those tools please yes. get in touch with mr amolu jagare his contact details will be shared with you in the description box so you can contact him <coughs> ask him doubts in this field take his help in learning those tools and obviously take your careers to the different level so he is one person who is going to hold your hand and make you successful so please don't hesitate to contact him write to him and uh, take his advice so uh, yes. my next question amul ji yes. how much time it took you to write this book the investment in failures yeah, approximately 1 month 1 month 1 month okay. around ha so yes. the the writing journey was so was that sufficient 30 days uh, uh now it's completely up to you uh, i always tell one thing in my uh, goal setting session and uh, during one of the goal setting session this uh, writing process was there so i mentioned that you know uh, you, do you know parkinson's law so the time you decide for completing any particular task you you actually take that time so if you decide one year you will take one year if you decide six months you will take six months if you decide one month you will take i used to teach that to my student and if i am teaching that i must implement that as well correct right correct. so uh, i decided that within one month anyhow i am going to complete it so uh, i started with 15 minutes 20 minutes then i started investing more time and uh, you know of course uh, sometimes uh, there were ups and down but uh, you know <laughs> somehow there were tools available and as i am in it so uh, i could easily uh, you know uh, make use of the ai tools and uh, generate the content uh, and uh, uh, use different different tools and uh, i could complete that right and uh, the main important thing is that you should have deadline if you have deadline and if you stick to that uh, definitely anything that you Uh, decide it can be completed. Okay, yes. great. So once your book was ready, you had finished writing, and then you gave it to your publisher, and then finally it got launched. How was the journey in between? In between means after uh, right after completing. writing till the book getting launched till book getting launched. Oh, so during that time I was eager. uh when it will be launched so uh it launched actually uh, last year diwali and uh, during that time um, i actually told to so many uh, uh, i told this to uh, my uh, my students uh, my uh, relatives or uh, my uh, actually uh, uh, my teachers and uh, uh, different different people so yes there was an excitement within uh within them as well and uh, i was also eager uh, when this book will come so and actually it, it didn't take took much time to get published because uh, as soon as i completed the book the publisher actually 
uh, gave me within a month or before Diwali, it was there with me. Uh, on Diwali, I just put a launch. Uh, I heard you have launched another book too after this book. Uh, yes, uh, not just after Can, can you book. tell us more about that? Uh, uh, see, actually, I uh, launched two books prior to this book and okay. after that, uh, one more book is actually the translation of this book only. Okay, okay. Uh, it is in Marathi only. So, the same book is there, it's in Marathi. Okay. okay. Huh. The, and this is actually my third book. The first two books were technical. Uh, one is... Uh, 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 practical approach of software testing. Second is kickstart automation testing. Okay, both are there on Amazon. So those were completely technical and uh, uh, I was just thinking that I should, you know, uh, write something uh, non-technical, uh, a self-help book, uh, which should be related to, because I wanted to tell my story as well. So I wrote this book. Any new project you are working on currently? New project, uh, uh, yeah, that's why I just told that uh, I'm in a process of creating some recorded, uh, recorded courses. Okay, so a technical uh, knowledge, uh, I've um, uh, technical courses I already have launched, but uh, you know, along with the technical things, uh, you know, if I provide my student uh, the self help content, then I think because you know. Technical knowledge is everywhere. So you can learn the things anyhow if you decide to learn. But the push that you want uh, is actually important. Right? So, uh, you know, if you have a purpose in front of you and if you have a uh, uh, if you have goals in front of you, so definitely it will push you and it will, uh, you know, uh, help you to achieve your goals. So I uh, I decided to create some self help some productivity related uh, courses which will be in the recorded format because you know uh, every time I'm into this uh, technical training so I may may not be available every time so I decided to create the recorded courses so one of uh, them I've already launched and one is going to be launched before Diwali and in uh, the upcoming years there will be many more to come so. These are the upcoming projects. Okay. Uh, do you have any advice or any sharing for someone who's continuously facing failures and setbacks and hurdles in their life, not able to complete education, not able to get job, uh, uh, and obviously continuously one setback after another, and he's feeling depressed and he's feeling hopeless. So do you have any keywords or any tactics for him? Yes, of course. Uh, see, uh, I heard from my, my mentors and I experienced this as well, right? Always remember that the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Okay. Means it can be a very small thing, right? So if you decide that uh, I will do something or I, I'm going to do this, and if you say that, uh, you know, it's okay uh, if uh, it is not, because it is a small thing. So avoid that approach. Even if it is a small thing that you decide to complete it. Okay. Because if you are not doing it, then you are ultimately giving a message to your subconscious mind that it's okay not to complete it. So the way you do with anything you do the same thing with everything that is around you. So your failures, your setbacks are actually the result of something we put, uh, uh, because, you know, some efforts we put less, uh, with some less efforts we have put because of which the failures are there. If there are failures, there is no need to demoralize. You learn from it. But next time when you will uh, work on it, so make sure that Whatever you decide, you complete it. Have a plan for it, decide and complete it. And it starts from your small things that you do in your day-to-day -day life. Great, great. So, as an author, uh, do you have any advice for someone who wants to write a book and contacts you, sir, sir, you have written three books so far. 
and I also want to write book. Please guide me how I can complete, how, how I can begin and how I can complete my book just like you in 30 days. Do you have any advice for him? Yes, of course. Uh, if anyone wants to write a book, uh, then uh, uh, see, uh, first of all, you should find your why, why you want to write a book. And uh, I guess uh, everyone should write a book because everyone has some story to tell to the world, right? So their story can be different, their uh, experiences can be different, their failures can be different, their success can be different. So everyone has some story, some learning to tell. Now, once you have a story, then find a reason why to tell. Okay. So if you have that solid reason in front of you, then, you know, uh, the only way is to make an outline of that book. Okay. So decide where to end that book. And uh, if you have the starting point and ending point, the in-between thing you will fill up with your experience. So if you want to uh, write a book and if you have a solid purpose, then you should definitely write a book. And uh, this is the way. And, you know, nowadays uh, uh, it's uh, uh, internet era. So you can get help very easily means how to get access to the tool, how to contact the publisher. It's not that big deal. So it just that you should have that desire and uh, be able to complete and write your book. Okay, great. So here we come towards the end of our discussion today. Uh, I'm again uh, announcing that if you want to build your career in software testing, if you want to learn that, there are plenty of good tools available and there are very few masters available who can teach this. And Mr. Amol Ujagari is one such master who is a master of all these tools. So if you want to learn these tools from uh, anyone, please contact Amolji. Uh, his contact details will be there in the description box. His book, Investment in Failures, this book is available on Amazon. I'm going to put the buying link also <clears throat> in the description box. So uh, if you want to, that buy, uh, want to buy that book, just click on the link below and order your copy. This copy will be home delivered to you. So that chance you should not miss. So with this, I again thank Amulji for joining with us today, for taking time from his busy schedule, talking to us, explaining his life's journey, his setbacks, and of course, uh, his current activities and his ambitious future plans and everything. So our all our best wishes are always with you, Amolji, and you, uh, we will be in touch. So all yes, the best. Sure. Thank you. And thank you.